you there. Thanks for coming back. This is Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. Oh, this is your first time here? Well, thank you for stopping by, and I sure hope it won't be your last. What do I have to share with you today? Yeah, no, it's going to be more Timu. Timu! Love these orange bags. When they come in the mail, it feels like Christmas, and I get so excited. Let's chop into this one and see what they sent. I think this is one I actually ordered myself, so. I think, yeah. This is a bunch of fidget toys because I have um, grandchildren who have pretty severe ADHD and also some anxiety and things. So these fidgets are to give them something to do to, you know, work out some of that. So first thing I got, oh my goodness, it is a little, I showed you one day I got the travel size version of the Crocodile Dentist thing. This is a keychain one, so this is really travel size. It's got a bell on it too, so you can keep track of your youngsters. But you open this little draw up like this and you start pushing teeth until you hit the one that hurts. And he bites you. Well, which one is it? Well, I pushed them all. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. If I push it down, it's going to break it. Guys, it doesn't work. That's not a very good fidget. If I force it down, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I can't force his mouth closed. But it's not, it's not working. I'm sure mine is damaged. I will have to let Timu know. That's sad. Got a little cute bell and a keychain and a flippy and you could, yeah. Oh, that's sad. Well, guys, um, it looks to be in great condition. It doesn't look like it's damaged, but it is damaged. It does not work. I don't want to tell you not to buy it because I'm sure that it is mine and not like all of them. I'm sure mine got da damaged in shipping. I put it back together, but it can't. I can't force it closed. It makes the jaw pop cannot, nothing is working. Well, that makes me sad. The first thing out of the package and it's not even working. Next fidgets. This is all going to be fidgets. So this one, oh, that's neat feeling. It's got a little like loop on this end so you can do this. That's interesting. These are really, it's squishy. Look at that. It's really squishy. Um, it feels nice. It's not sticky. You can pull these. You can, you know, play with them. You could probably tie them together. Well, certainly you can, you know. There's lots of fidgety things to do with it. It's got eyeballs that are squishy. Nice sensory kind of thing. Next item. So this is like a gyro. It's a magic gyro, it says. Now, don't expect me to be good at this, but get it on here correctly. Hmm. I think they have it on wrong. Maybe it goes this way. No? I think it's because mine's bent. <sighs> Why do they have to be so rough on my packages? Yeah, it was bent, see? I just had to unbend it just a little bit. It's magnetic and... I th 
thought it lit up, but I guess it does not. I think it was supposed to, but I don't know how you turn it on. I thought just... Anyway, this is neat though. It doesn't have to light up to be neat. Oh, it did light up! You gotta get it going to get it to light up. It lit up for a second. I promise it did. Anyways, that's pretty cool, huh? Um, something in a box? Warning, choking hazard. Okay, well, let's not choke anyone. Oh, magnetic art and design, it says. Sorry, I'm trying to find somewhere to sit stuff. So it's in this box. Get it out of the packaging. And it's a cube that, um, there's an instruction sheet, but it is a cube that is a puzzle. Okay, maybe I need the instruction sheet. So you turn it, oh look at that, that's neat, huh? So you just move it around different ways and try to get the faces back together. Let me bring it closer so you can see the faces. There's one. You know kids are gonna like these. I think they're really anime-like. What do I know about anime, right? Not a whole lot. So, anyways, it's kind of hard to get it started, but once you get it... Because it's magnetic. Ugh. Once you get it going, then you can do it in all different ways. And do all different shapes. really kind of neat. I know that my grandkids are going to like this. So there's instructions on here to tell you different ways to turn it to make different shapes. So I will keep that with it so they can figure that all out. But I mean, just, I think just playing with it and coming up with your own shapes would be the way to go. I mean, it's almost kaleidoscope-like. See if I can get it to go back into the shape of the faces. Come on now. Oh, look, it's a, like a, look at that. Like a triangle type thing, that's neat. Magnets make it stick, and I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So I'm like afraid, you know. I'm trying to get go back in the square. I did it once, so this will keep them entertained because it's hard to. Once you get it going, you've got to figure out how to twist it and turn it to go back into the original square. Almost, see, it's like a chair. Set a Barbie on it. See, I'm seriously, it's like a chair back into a square with the faces. Neat! All right, next, oops, wrong bag. Next we have a dinosaur. Let's take this little paper off of it so we can see the whole thing. So you can twist and turn things, but it is one of those 
Oh my goodness, and his neck lights up! And you can sort of bend it and twist it and do all kinds of weird things with it. And make obnoxious noises with it. They love these things, these tubes. And then back in the shape he goes. That's pretty cool. That's going to be a hit. What do we have here? I don't know. Something pink and sort of dome shape. Oh. Okay. But I think this also can come apart. I think. Well, I'm not going to take it apart in case I break it. But, you know, it twists and turns and goes all different directions. And it's a neat sensory type thing. Feels neat. But it's kind of like a gyro kind of thing. Okay. That'll keep them entertained for about two seconds. No, really, it will longer than that. They have a lot of fidgets, but... Anytime I can find different ones, I like to buy them for them. Here's something. This is like a whack-a-mole game. Hopefully it works, because the other game didn't work. Alright, so... I don't know how it works. I'll use push these and the one that pops up is the one you have to push down because it's like whack-a-mole. See how it pops up? Yes, it's loud. Yes, it's, but you know, they will like that a lot. There's different cat faces. I just noticed that. Okay, that's good. Work the bag go fell over. Next item. Let's hope it works. Scissors, don't get lost. Another keychain toy. This is a slot machine. You're seeing it before I am. It's got a bell on it. Got the little arm. Did I win? I got a cherry, a watermelon, and a bar. Is that good for anything? Seven bar bar. I don't know. I don't gamble. But anyways, that's pretty cool. That'll entertain them for a minute. A, one of those fidget spinners. This one looks like a sucker. One of those big suckers, you know? See? They love fidget spinners. This one looks like candy, like that. It's on both sides. Um, they have a lot of really neat fidgets. This is a cat. I guess. It's another one of those ones that are like a sensory kind of squishy thing that you can squeeze and it's got a bell or something in it. You can pull its tail. Don't pull it too hard to get it pulled off. You can pull its ears. not to sneeze. Another fidgety thing. How does this work? All right, so, wow. It's a delicate little thing of wires and beads, see? But you t 
Wow. You like move it around different ways. Kind of a flower kind of deal with different layers. I'm sure you can do all kinds of things. The kids will do different things. I'm sure, you know, configurations, but that's neat. We have, I don't know, something in this box. Can, can spinner cube. People will probably say I have it too far away, but I'm trying to put it where you can see it. It's got a strap that I have to attach. Kind of looks like it can. Let me attach the strap before I lose the strap. Maybe, maybe I can't. Why do these things have to be so hard to put the little wrist straps on? All right, we won't put this on yet. I guess I'm having trouble. So this whole thing spins. It looks like a pop can on top, like a soda can. Does that do anything? It just bends. It just bends. It's like on a turntable base, so you can turn the whole thing. But each layer also spins, so you can line up the colors as they're supposed to go, or you can mix them up. But then these balls also move, so I think it's a puzzle. Like you mix it up kind of like a Rubik's Cube, and then you try to get it put back together. So you could end up with two of the same color on the level and you have to figure out how to undo it. I do believe. Interesting. They will probably enjoy that. The pop it thing, however you, whatever you call it. It's just a pop it. You guys probably know more than I do, but it's got these, it's like an octopus, but it's got these pop it things you push in and then pop back out. But it's also got this part that spins around and it, you can give it different faces. Like here's a grimacey face. It's a, you know, like a spinner, whatever you call it, a um, yeah, fidget spinner sad face I guess so you could ask your child their mood they can be sort of you know anxious or worried or whatever or they can be happy or they can be sad and this also is a fidget spinner so that's got a lot of different things you can do I like that one Here's a, like a Tamagotchi. I thought that was fidgety, but you have to keep it alive. It's got an instruction sheet. And then it's got the little pull thing to pull out to turn it on. And it's a bunny. And then you do things like feed it and play with it and all of that. And you probably know what a Tamagotchi does, right? I don't know. Decide, time, 12 minutes, select. Oh, so you have to set the time, and I'm not going to do all that right now, but it's a Tamagotchi thing. I divide this up between the seven grandkids. They all could use a little stuff to fidget, right? Here's a, a game that has like the ball that you have to get around the maze. So it's got a little ball bearing in it. Where'd it go? It's in there. So anyways, guys, there's a silver ball that you roll around this maze and you have to get it to the next side without going through the holes or getting stuck. When it goes through these holes here in the middle, the ball is hard to get back out of there in the inside, sort of a maze on the inside too. Okay, as I was trying to say, when that little silver ball goes in the holes anywhere in the center, it's hard to find the ball again because you have to get it to come out of another hole, 
and that's hard because it's uh, sort of a maze on the inside as well but you want it to go there's holes at the sides of the cube and that's where you want it to go through to get to the next side um, it could be a little aggravating for a child that has got a whole lot of patience I know I was getting aggravated because I wanted to see what happened when you put it down through a center hole while you guys were while my camera was shut off I wanted to throw it for a second. Oh, this is sticky. Oh, I don't like it. All right, well, here's this ball with like Orbeez inside of it. I like the feel of it when you squeeze it. I do not like the stickiness. I'm wondering if you could powder it and take away some of that really sticky, ooey gooey. It doesn't make your hands sticky, but I don't like the feeling of sticky things. And it's going to get dirt and fuzz and everything all over it. So I'm thinking maybe some baby powder might help. I don't know if that's recommended or not but I mean the Orbeez feel really neat and you know you can squeeze it and you can sort of pull it and twist it and turn it and it's a very good sensory thing except for the stickiness not good for the senses when it's sticky like that in my opinion but you know you can kind of rub it around in your hands and feel the Orbeez and that's pretty neat all right I don't want it stuck to things um, next, I don't want to mess this up, it is a cat picture and I want the kids to get to do it. Um, I used to have it with numbers and you had to mess the puzzle up and then try to get it back together. It's got little squares. This piece comes out and that is the hole that you can move it around. There's like one more hole than there is pieces and you, um, let me see, I can take that out and move one piece. It slides, you can slide it up and then slide the other ones over and mess up the picture. As I, I just messed, I just lost the little plastic thing. Uh, as I said, I don't want to mess it up before the kids get to play with it, but I think you probably have the idea of how that works if you've ever seen them. I used to have them, like I said, that had numbers when I was a kid, and I would get really aggravated when I couldn't get it back in order, <laughs> but you know, I think they may like it. One of my grandkids already has one of these. It may even be the same colors. Um, I showed you an ink pen like it, but you turn it and it's like a timer hourglass kind of thing. It's got pink and blue. You turn it on its side, sort of get it rocking, you know. Sort of like a lava lamp but that you do by hand. That's really neat. So you just turn it and watch it and then turn it again. But I like how the blue and the pink are separate, but yet together. It comes down together to make like purple, but it's blue and pink. I don't know how they do that. It has to be different like thicknesses of oil or something. I don't know. You'd have to tell me how it works. And there's the last little pitch and you turn it and you do it again neat huh I like it I like it a lot I want to watch it I think it would have a calming effect I think there's one more item yep one more fidget they have I think most of them have these already just like most of them have a fidget spinner but this is different um my grandson wants things that are blue and the ones they have are like all different rainbowy colors, but this one's blue and white, so I thought he would like this one. And it's a tangle, you twist and turn it. It's neat in your hands. This isn't too big of a one. You can take it apart and put it together with another one and you can put more colors and make it really long. I have a really long one because I have several of them put together because they do pop apart. Once you start popping them apart, they're hard to see, to keep together. I don't like taking them apart so many times but you twist it and you turn it and I like to take it and like twist it around my finger and get it in a coil it will only go so many times you know because it's only so long and pull it apart but anyways just fidgety all right so those are the fidgets guys uh there's a lot more these are just the ones I purchased there's certainly a lot more than what I have here. Um, so what do you think? Do you have uh, kids or maybe yourself that benefits from fidgety 
things. Um, my daughter needs fidgety things and she's 33, I think, 34, I don't know, 33. <laughs> um, I mean, when you get to a certain age, you stop wanting to count everybody's birthdays because the older they get, the older you get. Um, and all, like I said, seven grandkids like to fidget with things. So and I like to fidget with things, but I usually give them to them. And when they come over, I have a lot of them for them to fidget with, but also I send them to their house and they use them at school and they use them when they go to the movies. Oh my goodness. It really helps a ADHD child to sit there and, you know, have something to keep their hands busy while they're watching the movie. It, honestly, it, it, as long as it's a quiet fidget toy, it really helps. Um, things like that. And the times when they feel anxious and things, it gives them something to do to uh, take that nervous energy and put it somewhere else. Um, lots of reasons for fidgets. And um, I'm ADD, so I like to fidget with things as well. And this is a lot less obnoxious than like a clicky pin or something like that. Or tapping my fingers or my foot or, you know, all the things I could do that make noise. At least this is kind of quiet. Most of these are pretty quiet. So, um, what do you think? Tell me what you think of the fidget toys. Is there one that you like particularly well? I'm really upset that this doesn't work. And please give me that big old thumbs up because, you know, that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and watching me fidget and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video, probably Timu. Bye guys. I really do still have subscription boxes, just not as many. People seem to be more interested in other things at the moment. And I kind of am too, because I really like Timu. Bye, guys.